tarts on top of them and then maybe try and hit them the break because they look a very good counter-attacking side. And they do. So, who knows? Strange things can happen in football. Let's hope that's at least get a good start and we might yet have a game in our hands. Let's get ourselves to Tynecastle then for tonight's match. Hearts against Dinamo Zagreb and it's John Robertson alongside Paul Mitchell. Good evening, Diggy. Welcome, everybody. I was asked this week if the match tonight was a replay, given that the teams played last week. Sadly, we know that not to be the case. And while well, the tie's all but gone for Hearts, it's far from meaningless. Hearts simply cannot afford to have their poor start to the season extended any further as they seek to avoid losing both legs of a European tie for only the sixth time in their history. Gold Greeny, Dinamo were blanked domestically for the first time this season as they dropped their first league points of the weekend. 10th place, Zadar securing a 0-0 result at home against the Croatian champions. But it's a tall order for Hearts and there's one or two new faces as well in terms of starting in Europe for the first time. And you see one of them at Craig Thompson. Hearts found a new way to lose against Rangers at the weekend, looking at the side that started seven days ago in Zagreb. Three changes, Balog for Keller and goal. Lee Wallace and Eggert Johnson miss out through injury. There's a debut for Craig Thompson at right back. And Gary Glenn sub last week starts tonight. Well, it's a massive, massive test for young Craig Thompson, but there's no better place to learn than a European environment. Hearts do need more from Susan Nabu and the wide areas tonight if Nari and Glenn are going to have any chance to pull the goals back. Well, Dinamo Zagreb delighted their noisy fans in the Maskemir Stadium last week. One change from the side that started the first leg, that says a lot. Eto is injured, Dejan Lovren is recalled after suspension. Well, it's an even stronger side if that could possibly be. Lovren comes in after suspension and a really good player. But the front three of Morales, Mandzukic and Papadopoulos will have Hearts defence with their hands full tonight. Well, there's some, some positive news for Hearts, the return of Andrew Driver. Number 11 for Hearts, spoke to him earlier, he's hoping to take some part in the second half as Hearts casting an eye ahead to the weekend as well. Our referee from Germany has been busy. Nurt Kircher visits Scotland for the second time, having taken charge of Rangers 2-0 win against the Norwegian side Molde in the UEFA Cup three years ago. He's had enough floodlight worries to do him a lifetime this evening. Well, only one Scottish club has come back from a four-goal deficit. Kilmarnock lost 3-0 in Germany against Eintracht Frankfurt, then conceded the first goal at Rugby Park. They scored five without reply to win in the first cup tie in 64-65. Hibson 67-68 lost 4-1 to Napoli away before winning 5-0 at Easter Road. And it's a big night for these Hearts players, none more so than Craig Thompson, who was standing in the tunnel wondering if the match would actually go ahead. Would he be denied his big European debut? Yeah, he certainly would be the young lad, and he will be nervous for the first few moments, but once he gets that ball, maybe a couple easy passes to Suso Wide right here, and he can settle down and enjoy what will be a wonderful experience, and hopefully the start of a flourishing career. Well, Lars Zagreb, vulnerable. They won the first leg of the cup final last season by three goals to nil against Hadjuk Split, and lost the second leg by three goals to nil. It went all the way to penalties. Wouldn't that be good tonight? Underway at Tyne Castle, an immediate touch for Thompson and Zaliukas back into the arms of his goalkeeper. Hearts changing goalkeepers in a European tie for the first time. With Marianne Kello having started the first leg, Janos Palop in goal this evening. Good hassling by Gary Glenn, that's precisely what we want. So Hearts with a long throw from Galvez. Badil easily heading the ball away. And Galvez will get ready to throw it in again. Looking for the long runner. Thrown in towards San Lucas, gets the head flick on. Rondoliak away, Palazuelos back in once more. Vishan very strong from Galvez. It's the decision, Hart's way. Throw in towards Susil. It's a good play from Kukalvez. Kukalvez still going, early chance for Hart, a poor, misses it completely. Just came off, the looked like the side of the foot or the heel perhaps, not clean at all, 
And what a chance that was inside two minutes. Well, that's exactly the start that one. Magnificent play from Concarvis. He'll cut it back, and a he's got to hit the target, and that would have been a dream start. And would have maybe, just maybe, got Hearts thinking that something special could have happened tonight. Well, if Hearts could have scored inside the opening two minutes, why not? Well, David Abua only scored in one game for Hearts in his career. This is his 34th appearance. And not adding to the score sheet tonight. Concarvis with a long throw, takes a bounce. Gary Glenn goes after it. Already a good tempo about Hearts. Well, yeah, they've got to make things happen. And tonight's about even just getting some pride, getting a, a performance that can lift them. But look at this chance. It's a wonderful spot from Concarvis. He's just he's taking his eye off it. You know, I don't know if he's looking at the defender. But really, at this level, and to try and drag Hearts back in the tie, that's got to be in the net. What a chance. Will there be many more? Hart certainly hope so. Martina with a poor ball out. And Carlos flicks it forward. And Galvez going in strong on the challenge. Referee doesn't like it. In terms of the way that Hearts have actually gone, it looks like 4 1 4 1, Paul. I'm just looking here now that they've lost the ball. Nadia up front is on. Glenn dropping in just behind there. Um, Abua and Susan the way there, there's Palazuelo sitting in front of the back four, so it's, it'll be 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one when they lose the ball, and certainly, hopefully, 4-4-2 four, four, when they're going forward. Zaliukas away from Papadopoulos. Malo has previous European experience played in the European Cup against Augsburg, lost a single goal in the two games, enough to put his side out the tie. Mandzukic couldn't get on the end of it. For Doljak. Does enough hassling. That's good play coming out of the back. Labyrinth plays it through. Papadopoulos! They are lethal. Yeah, I mean, they're marvellous on the break. It's a great great run there by Zanon. By Locks it in there. Papadopoulos there. I'm not sure he gets all of it. And thankfully, I think it just clips the outside of the post and goes past there. That really would have extinguished if we part the fun. All hopes the hearts had tonight. And thankfully, just grazes the post and goes past. Need the fire to remain in the belly for as long as possible. Barbaric away. Comes down towards Carlos. And he getting involved. Suso up well. Carlos again, tall and strong for Goyak in the midfield. Score of that wonderful goal in Zagreb. And Zukic plays it away. Neatly done. Samir, number 10, with the light blue boots almost onto Zukic. And Calvez. Trying to make it look calm, worries everybody. A lover and waits for it, a boot tracks back. That's causing their own problems at the moment. The Galvez was caught late, the leg was lifted. Yeah, definitely a free kick, but what was magnificent there, Paul, was that when Hearts had the ball under pressure at the back, the two full-backs from Zagreb went straight up, high up the park, really pushed on Abu and Suso, and there's Lovren, just read the pass come and takes it, and nearly sets up another attack for the, the away side. He's just back from suspension, Lover. I think he was lucky there. The boot was raised as the player came past him. Ballock booms one down. The flag is up on this near side. The referee's not spotted it yet. He will eventually spot it and award the offside decision. Christian Leitcher on the near side as we watch. Samir. Zukic, and the flag is up again. As well, Buzzi has the chance to play the ball forward. Much better tempo about Hearts tonight already. You've seen how quick like Dinamo Zagreb can move and strike. What a job he's done. Dunslav Juric, 39 years old. Got flack last week in the press conference after the game. Why didn't his side didn't play like that against Salzburg in the previous round of the Champions League? You can't win sometimes. Well, you can't as a manager, but in saying that, I suppose in a way they've got a point because they were amazed that Salzburg actually knocked out. Um, uh, <laughs> exactly, sorry. Yeah. But, um, you know, they were, were excellent last week and they've started very promisingly. It looks like it could be a really good open game tonight. And Galvez away from Samia. Takes a little touch out of play, it goes. Celebrated his 50th appearance in Croatia last week for Hearts. If celebrated, it's perhaps not the right word. Papadopoulos. 
Brings it long. And Zugic is offside by at least two yards there. Be interesting to see how he plays, John. Again, there's been rumours in Croatia about him possibly moving. I tell you what, as you glanced across, he looked well offside, but there he wasn't. Yeah, he plays right on the edge, and that's what you want your strikers to do. You know, take that chance. He, he will get caught offside a couple of times, there's no doubt about that. But you'd rather they've done that than not getting behind. They're dragging his team back. I mean, it's Papadopoulos, and more importantly, Morales can go and find the space in between. Morales was simply a menace last week. Suso wears seven, Morales wears 77. Question is, is he 11 times the player? Rosied will head up, Galvez trying to get involved, that's going to be a free kick. Rosied again gets involved. Papadopoulos, the Greek international, born in Kazakhstan. Taken to the ground, Bouzy does have that in him, he just doesn't hold off players, Joe. No, he does tend to get very, very tight, you know, in, in the Scottish game, in the domestic game, I mean, we all get away with that more often than not, but certainly at European level, he'll get pulled up more often than not. Morales sends it low. Morales is waiting for it, little nudge. Very stop start at the moment. Called into the Croatian under 21 squad partly because of the way he played last week, caught the eye of the national selectors. Greg Thompson onto Michael Stewart. Nadi hurdles his man. And Bishan taking no chances. Has to get involved tonight, Christian Nadi. He knows that, he must know he's under a great deal of pressure. Thompson to Suso. Suso tries the trick, it works. Low ball across, Butina dribbles it. And it's away by Bishan. Only as far as Palazuelos. Well, there's some encouragement here for Hart, but what they've got to watch is Manzukic. And Papadopoulos when they break. Uzi was good on the challenge that time. Well, it's good refereeing there. He let uh, Mandzukic go, and when he did eventually lose it, he pulled it up. But what a chance! Great trickery from Suso. Credit with Chris Suso. Wonderful little touch here. Again, the cross isn't great, but the keeper Butina makes a makes a mess of it there and scumbles away. And these are the little things that you need to try and jump on, try and knock it the back of the net, to just try and get a foothold in this game. Sublime from Suso. Barrage on to Morales. Cut out well by Michael Stewart ahead of Badio. Barrage away. Well, Galvez just wants to run that out. Good early possession from Hearts. Back at Tyne Castle once more after six European games at Murrayfield, where they won two and lost four. The start of the match, Glenn tried to close him down. Good striking play. Lose it, picked up Verdolia. And to Samia. Zubic. Well, he caused lots of problems alongside Morales. And the Dinamo Zagreb fans want to make sure he goes nowhere. In it, but Abua is penalised. Well, the bad blue boys is the reputation they have. They've come to and enjoyed themselves so far. Quickly taken, lower cross. And Thompson snaps the ball out. Well, that's like defending from Hearts. That schoolboy stuff turning your back the ball there. I think it was young Gary Glenn. 
They've just slipped in there. Fortunately, not a good delivery, but you have to keep an eye on these things. Love out. To Papadopoulos into the foul throw about that one. And Gary Glenn and Mike Galvez. Barrett will let it run onto Carlos, the rangy fullback. I think another early thing, Paul Craig Levine touched on it studio last week about where Hearts press the game from. It's not both the right, but they're pressing it far higher up the park. They're not giving comfortable possession to the back for Zagreb. They're really pushing up the pitch to try and stop them early. Sammy around Zaliukas slid of his own accord. Gary Glenn will send it off for David Apua. That early chance of the match for Hearts Apua will track back. And again, it's the man, Dian Lovren. And Lovren, 20 years old, almost 100 appearances in the top league in Croatia. And he's very highly regarded. Yeah, it must be some player because the lad that came on last year, last week, Tomic Tomicat, he was excellent. Really, another under 21 international, but he was superb. I thought he would start tonight, but uh, Lovren has been excellent in the doors. If you're just joining us and wondering about the blank floodlight, there have been problems at Tyne Castle. The backup generator to the main generator, which powers the floodlights, decided it was going to have a day off. But announced it in a plume of smoke. And the fire brigade, still in attendance, still having a little look. The fire brigade still working, or at least that's what they're telling their boss. Yeah, certainly, you know, you're trying in these days to get a wee edge ball, but uh, maybe if there are three go out, we've got a chance. Oh, that I should say. You shan't on the score sheet last week. Goes down by Gary Glenn. <laughs> Cecil keeps it in, that's only advisable if you know somebody's there to pick up. Morales into Samir. Dropped off towards Verdolia. Alice Willis over hits a boot. So here again. Morales and Zugic. Towering ball up. And Calves back down the middle. Stewart and Samir collect. And Calves goes in again. Here's Lovren, and it to Boer, now Suso started the game well. Half from full at Tynecastle, and they're getting right behind their side, Thompson, low ball in, thump clear onto Carlos, Captain Bishan doing it again. And Zukic, oh, Buzi trips himself, and Zukic moves forward, it's three against two, and Zukic wanted it all his own way. That's for fortunate for the poor decision maker. Papadopoulos pushes it wide. Well, away from the sub line to the Dickens, a wonderful play. So hopefully for Craig Thompson there up, a lovely cross. And then Hearts get caught, Boozy trips over his own feet. Mandzukic, he's got two men to his right. I actually think of Papadopoulos, as you'll see here coming in, runs on the second defender and leaves the wide man free, but he's the bust out there. Thankfully for Hearts, he tries to shot and they manage to get it away. Nadi breaks through, on to Gary Glenn, a little bit of space for Glenn, now a Boer, that's desperate for the opening goal, a Boer cross, on to Gary Glenn, turns, just couldn't get it away! Well, it's a half chance for the young man, but he's in there, and that's, that's it, the positive points to take about, Boer tries a shot here, Gary Glenn, his first touch just doesn't quite get out of his feet, tries to hit it with his second one, but that's good poaching, that's the kind of guy you need in the blocks, sniffing out chances. for Hearts. And it's Craig Thompson who's been spoken to by the referee at the moment. And Zukic is just complaining. You never mess with the little guys. Certainly. Good referee by a German referee just trying to Take the heat out of the situation. Oh, 
And he was being held, but he's got away well. Glenn's in the middle. It's delivered across Gary Glenn. Thomas Lapretina came out very well indeed. Mistake. Michael Stewart puts it in and scores. What on earth was the goalkeeper doing? He fed possession back to Hearts, and Michael Stewart scores. Yep, it's a deserved goal as well, but talk about pushing up there and squeezing in. You know, it's well played to me with Nadi. The good ball to Glenn Butina, a terrible throw out there towards Kordukak. Michael Stewart did really well. That's a great ball, they're unlucky here. It's a bad throw from the goalkeeper. Michael Stewart, we say, close it down on the pitch, wins it, gets a shot in. No way that Glenn's interfering with plays, actually behind the goalkeeper. And maybe, just maybe, Hearts fans can start to believe. Michael Stewart with a great left foot finish. When he scores for Hearts, it's always early in the season. It's ecstasy in August for Michael Stewart to Hearts. Michael Stewart thought for a moment he wasn't going to get it, but it is Hearts' way. And Michael Stewart, after 17 minutes, while everybody in the ground was looking at the back of the net where Gary Glenn was and quite what Bettina was doing. I'm not so sure, I think, that, I think the Leesman had the flag up, but the referee just said no, he was not in a firm play, it's a goal. So good, again, he's been very, very impressed with the referee in the opening 18, 19 minutes here, but that's the kind of thing that you want Michael Stewart to show as a captain. Driving forward, winning the ball, have the pocket goal and get the goal. And as we say, we're only 18 minutes in, slight way back into this tie. Well, the captain's armband has been a curse for Hearts this season. It's finally a pleasure for Michael Stewart. Susel got caught, Samia can break away. This could end it. Good save. Very close to the goalkeeper, but you just worry every time, Zachary. What's going to happen? There's no doubt, you know, Hearts have to take chances, but, you know, if they get themselves into this, this game, keep, keep one on. One and a half time's not bad. Two done up with 20 minutes to go. You never know, but there are going to be chances. Unfortunately, there, Samir's shot is right at battle. Well, watch this, Christian Nani, great ball across. The goalkeeper gathers now, but deal was the target. It's bowled out to him, it's a dreadful first touch, robbed by Michael Stewart. And how's about that for a finish, dragged right across the goalkeeper, and Michael Stewart with the goal. Well, as we're saying, it's got Hearts back, a foothold back in this tie here. Terrible throw, you actually see the goalkeeper when he throws it there, he throws his hands up to warn his midfield player that the man's coming, but it's too late, the damage was done. Good pressing from Michael Stewart, high up the pitch like Craig Levine wanted last week, and Hearts have got the reward. Michael Stewart scores in Europe for Hearts. Hearts have to be careful, and that's why mid Pedro Morales just broke himself free, and Janos Ballard had to be there. Well, we've said it, Paul, but a team with this much talent, they're going to create chances. You know, that's the third, maybe fourth chance of getting the first 20 minutes. It's been a great game, you know, and if, if see if Hearts, for the sake of the tie, can get the next goal, this place will erupt, and then maybe, just maybe, Zagreb might start to panic. We certainly hope so. Morales in, playing with the header away. Samir at the edge of the box, sends it back wide. Morales, Gary Glenn sliding in for the cause. Much more fight about Hearts tonight. Well, it's, it's amazing sometimes. You throw a couple of young lads, as young Thompson's in, Gary Glenn's in with a point to prove that they give you that energy. You know, they may not have the experience, but they give you an energy and get you about the park. Michael Stewart's first European goal for Hearts separates the sides. Jersey, the referee will award the free kick. He's been solid so far, the man has seven years' experience in the Bundesliga, and he's controlling the match well. Yeah, the referee's had a good start to the game, he's, you know, he's let play go, he's pulled it up when there's no advantage. He ignored the linesman's flag for the goal quite rightly, so, so far so good. Christian Strong with a head up. But he's worried face on now. Michael Stewart gives the ball away. Carlos in field. Morales, Adele battled for it. 
That's good play from Zanekis coming through Papadopoulos. Thompson, no can't think for Nadi. There's a little edge about Tancastle now, John. Yeah, there certainly is, and, you know, we spoke about last week, despite the talents of this Zagreb team of goal, which are wonderful, they're a young side, and you never, never know, you know, maybe just one more goal could really, you know, get them a wee bit nervous, and, you know, it's still a tough, tough ask for Hearts, but certainly, you know, after a quarter of the game, you know, they're, they're in the tank. One goal on each quarter for Hearts, without conceding, we'll see us go, takes the time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Michael Stewart, first half player to score at Tynecastle here since Andy Webster. Pinned across by Thompson. Back out to the goal scorer. Over towards Nadi. Flicked it on. Gary Clay and in behind the defence just wouldn't fall for him. Bishan got the ball away well. Cecil tried the tricks. Nadeo tries to bring it away. Snits past Palasuelos. Papadopoulos onto Samir. Look at neat short passing. And usually the long passes are good too. As if it's simply caught in his heels there. Yeah, but as you say, there's a good tempo to the game. You look at Hearts, you know, in the season they were, they were in the end well beaten by Dundee United in the first half. It's terrible in Zagreb, we all know that. But there's a huge improvement on Sunday, and again tonight it looks like they're, they're gaining a wee bit more confidence. They're, they're passing the ball, they're closing it down quicker. You know, it's something tonight they can at least build on as the match goes on. Well, Hearts fans were looking for reasons to be cheerful. We could have had one inside two minutes if David Abu had netted Michael Stewart 15 minutes later. That's one, Dinamo Zagreb nil. It's done by Abu. Ishan got caught there by Christian Nadi. We can hear the scream from here in the back of the opposite stand. Yeah, just a wee bit late from Nadi there, but he's shown a wee bit more uh, movement tonight, you know, and then. He has got a point to prove, you know, Vitten being, I think, picked up an injury. Um, you know, Christian Nadi's got to lead the line, he's, he's took stick, and, and, and set quarters rightly so, uh, for his performance so far this season. But, again, tonight, gives him a very, very good platform to, to launch his season. Samir so draws the applause of his manager, despite considering the throw. Calves to Nadi. Glenn goes chasing after it. The flag was already up. Yeah, I think he just again, Gary Glenn, his eagerness, which is, is good in one way for Hearts. He wants to get on the other side of the, the defenders, but he just stayed a yard too far there for the flick on. You'll see here, he's just a wee bit keen, a yard offside. But again, you know, you've just got to keep trying there. One time the lines, you might not quite get it. And he's in for a goal. Expect from eight goals already this term. Scored three in his last three European matches, including the first leg. Nice. The fullback, Lovrak. And Jukic certainly not shy when it comes to shooting the balls we saw last week, and I'm sure his uh, green boots will probably attract the attention of uh, one or two of the Gorky Faithful tonight. A little bit of battling going on here, elbows starting to flare. Samir and Kukalvez, the nicest guys you could meet was Kukalvez too. I don't think there's too much of that. I think, I think he actually slipped there on. <laughs> but uh, might be one of the nicest guys you would like to meet, but certainly physically it looks quite intimidating. Long throw towards Nadi. And they gave it the effort, couldn't keep it in. Ahead here to go through 90 minutes enough to replicate the biggest home win in Europe. That was against FC Lantana of Estonia 11 years ago. It's the only team I've ever seen that one of the substitutes got a camera with him. And as he sat, he just took pictures from the dugout. It was wonderful. Vodoyak into Samir, back inside to Vodoyak. Goes out to Palazuelos. Greg Thompson towards Gary Glenn. Adele, 
failed to pick it up. With Michael Stewart, nice touch onto Nadi. Nadi tried to slip it through almost. Samir to the goal, yeah. Suso for Hearts. Thompson is wide. And to get away. Carlos does it. That's a good left footed cross. Abua goes up. Gary Glenn knocks it down. Michael Stewart rattles the bar. What a double that would have been for the skipper. Well, if that goes in, it is pandemonium here. Wonderful play there. Craig Thompson, lovely ball at the back post. The poor knocks it down. Great spot from Glenn. And Michael Stewart can get that down. It's 2 0, and then the place are up. Still a chance. I thought he did really well to give it as much down as he could. Deep, deep corner. Header comes in from Buzids. What a good period of play for Hearts. Well, it certainly is, and you, you look at that, the Abua's missed a snip. Michael Stewart, we see here, the ball bounces just up, he gets great technique, it's a deflection, actually, that takes it onto the crossbar, there's nothing wrong with that. And then another half-chance here for Buzid. You know, and if Hearts are going to get it right back to the four goals, they need to take these half-chances, but what a start. Carlos drops the ball down, gets it back, gives it away. On to Thompson, Craig Thompson has started well. Suzo's in the mood tonight too, moving away from Vanell. Suzo and the referee will give the free kick. And he rode the challenge as long as he could and eventually the free kick. Excellent referee again, he done it earlier on. He's done it again, let's play, continue. Thompson in, Glenn knocks it back, Palace Willows blocked by Samir. Abur, that's too far for Palace Willows. Very encouraging for Hart, so you know, we said it's week on week, they're slowly improving, which can only be good for the league form, but I'm sure when we'll see this replay again on the last seat at half time, I think there's an unbelievable block, just gets a deflection to take it up on top of the crossbar there that we perhaps didn't see from any other angle. Fourteen goals in the last 17 European matches, six of the 14 came in two games against Braga and Shiroki Brieg. Hearts haven't been prolific in Europe, and Michael Stewart, well, he got one, and he came so close to getting a second. Here's the little deflection, just enough to take it onto the bar. I think there's a better angle than that, Paul. I think the one we'll see from the byline, you'll see that it, it takes, it definitely takes the ball higher up, and rattles against the bar. Encouraging for Hearts, but they have to be careful at the back. Carlos. Morales. Adel loses out. Thompson just takes it too far, was lucky, went into the challenge a little bit recklessly. And Zaniukas awaits two or two for Hearts if Nadi can get away. Nadi rumbling through the middle, not a sight any defender wants to see. No, it isn't, but again, it's encouraging for Hearts. You know, they're knocking these balls long, they're getting bodies around it, they're playing at a great tempo. And at this moment in time, you see, well, it's not exactly rattled Zag them, but they've certainly got them on the back foot. Well, if they're not rattled, they're certainly squeaking. Morales. No Zagreb. Halted at the weekend, nil-nil. They still lead the Croatian Championship. They still comfortably lead this tie. And the Hearts can continue to get in and amongst them. Who knows? Romanic sends it along. Well, the referee's allowing play to continue. Samir. Adele. On to Lovren, Lovren short, and Calvez brings it away, and he won't reach it. And Baric gives it away again. Suso taking on Carlos, gets past him, drives it in into Nadi. Nadi just had to try and flick it out a little bit better onto Suso. Well, it's been good so far. I'm sure that the ex arts boss and the current Scotland boss is enjoying it. Scotland go into action next weekend. It's against Macedonia, and you can see highlights 
on the BBC. Michael Stewart again, on to Apua, to land on the middle, so too Nadi, and the targets, Bichat drops it away onto Samir, Verdoyak, to a rangy player, likes it, move the ball quickly, he's done so, Morales, lots of a threat, so far in the match, and Verdoyak goes down under the challenge of David Apua, and he gets across onto Samir, Good defending that time, Michael Calvez. So they've got the better of second time round. Love run. So the one two hearts should pick up there. Michael Stewart and Gary Glenn. But up, trying to drive forward. Zaliukas, the captain. It's going to be too much for Glenn. Carlos rolled by his own player. And why not when you're Morales? Joint captain, of course, at Dyke Castle, vice captain on the field. It's very confusing. Putina, another mistake. On to Glenn. Glenn's going to go for it. The goalkeeper as well, but the goalkeeper's nervous. He's an excellent international. He's played in European Championships, World Cups. He looks nervous. He look, he's probably the most experienced player as well. He looks the most nervous a lot, but it's just a pity young Gary Glenn couldn't get it down and hit it first time. But certainly now, if Hearts can get this goalkeeper, he is one who's certainly flapping. Gary Glenn all over the field, but loses out that time. Wins a catch with a step over. Just behind Papadopoulos. And a thumping clearance from Mario Saliukas. Perhaps improving the communication. It seemed to be lacking last midweek. Change pleasantries. Carves, Bishan, he's a header away. Papadopoulos, so Samia, chased by the Spaniard Palazuelos. Good play, dogged play for Palazuelos. Nothing comes of it, but again sets the tone. Yeah, I mean, you've got to give credit when it's due. You know, Hearts tonight, they look a totally different side as the, the willingness to close down, the pace of the game. We've got to keep this up, though, that you know, the longer they can keep going and nick another goal, then they're, they're still falling from this time. As the Grips coach said, they were up for this, they weren't going to be complacent. And Bradell goes to try and prove that fact. Cracking right foot shot. Well, we saw his danger in the first leg as well when he gets, does get forward. And as we said, you've got to expect Zagdai with the quality to open up parts. And with Hearts pushing forward to get more goals, it is going to open up. Wonderful efforts. Maybe a couple of feet too high. Scored in Europe already this season, three goals this term. And Michael Stewart just trying to marshal his heart side. He was clever there. Glenn goes up to battle, comes down to Nadi and Glenn. Back on to Stewart. To the vicinity of the Boer. And that was out of play. Hart's looking for a, a better performance here to take into Sunday. And sports in results, of course, on Saturday, all the SPL action. Join us, 4.30, all the results from around the grounds, and then all the SPL action with Richard Gordon. Monday night, 10.45, all the action from the weekend.
or two drinks being taken on, one or two words coming from the coaches. We know that Shabba Laszlo can move a bit, but Krenislav Hiric certainly likes a little dance around on the touchline too, John. Yep, certainly it could be a bit of WWF down there, but, uh, but well, Shabba, to be fair, has been a lot calmer this season. He seems to have taken a more pragmatic approach. He's maybe settling down to life in Edinburgh. So there goes close down by Papadopoulos. Looks like he needs a booster seat from there. Well, Maric forward as Lucas tries to block uh, the pull of the jersey and Manzukic, and he's lucky not to see a card. Well, that's, that's what frustrates you about Maric Lucas. He does so many good things at times and undoes it with... That's just carelessness, you know, it's slack. It's, you know, it, there's nothing happening here. The boy's going nowhere. Look, that's, that is a yellow card offence, you know. And we saw what happened to... Gary Caldwell in the scoring match for something as silly as that. Zalukas catches a break. Actually, a couple of red, red cards in his time, Marius Zalukas. And as Morales goes for it, well wide, you can tell from the reaction of the goalkeeper, he was unconcerned. Well, we saw in Zagreb we can hit them, but uh, this is well, well wide. And that's one of the, the intriguing things tonight, Paul, is that uh, last week Morales was the star man, he was magnificent, he found the space. He's not getting that tonight, you know, the technical being that, as you said, at point out that Hearts need to squeeze the game, keep it nice and tight. And he's not had any room to play. we hear from Craig Levin and Billy Dodds with Diggy Donnelly at half-time. Encouraging so far from Hearts. A second goal before half-time would be ideal. Gary Glenn just trying to run off, you know, knock in the back. Forward. Carlos just allows it to run out of play. Go from Sao Paulo. Thompson on to Susan, that was out of play. Well, it's been an interesting time for Craig Thompson. He's been coming up against Morales. And Zukic, how's he done, John? I think the young lad settled in. You know, he had a very, very nervous first touch uh, when he ended up knocking it back to the keeper, but he's got up, you know, he's doing what you want your fullback to do, he's tucking in, he's covering his defenders, he's getting tight to his wide man, he's been up a couple of times, a, a couple of decent crosses in, you know, wonderful ball for a Vua when Michael Stewart hit the bar, so the young lad can be well pleased with his first touch performance. So there he somewhat pulled out of position on a poor pass across by Badel that time. have kept up the record of Scott Sides scoring in all five games at home against Sides from Croatia. The opening goal, Shabba Laszlo would have been delighted to welcome after 17 minutes. Marks could do with another, just to sow some seeds of doubt. Mazukic against Thompson, Thompson can't get there. Carlos happy to advance. Didn't want to come on the inside, he's with a right foot, the defending for Palazuelos. Stuart quickly, on to Glenn. Now a Boer, Nadi. Out wide and onside, Christian Nadi. Touch was poor. Well, there's a problem too for Christian Nadi. I'm wondering as he stumbled, John, the calf becomes a problem. Well, this is where you look for him to put the ball in the box, and he just he overruns it. It's a great, it's great defending, but it allows the defender a chance to get back. I think he may have twisted his ankle just here. It's whacked against him. Certainly nothing much in that. That's a sore one going down. Maybe he's just twisted his ankle the way down, but um, I think his first touch was fine. I think it was his, his second or third. That it's, it's bowled up, it's hit his shin, and it's, a, it's allowed the defender to get back. But that's what frustrates the fans with Christian Nani. He's found room on the, on the left-hand side. It's a wonderful ball through. There's just nothing in the last third that, that, you know, where you really need it. 15 appearances without a goal for Christian Nadi. He was involved in that move. Now watch the goalkeeper, Milan Badel, didn't want it. Dreadful first touch, but that's how to rob somebody. 
drive through. That's a great goal from Michael Stewart. Yeah, as in this is the angle there that you, you've just missed the goalkeeper. He realises he's made a hash of it. He tries to tell his, his midfield player that there's a man coming. And as you say, if Michael Michael Stewart's second shot that gets deflected up onto the bar goes in, you know, we've got a tie on all of a sudden. Not being blank too often at home, Hearts only failed to score an 8 of 33 at home in European competition. And Michael Stewart on the score sheet, Christian Nadi on the sidelines. Quite impressed with him in Zagreb, but he struggled a little bit in this game. But that's, that's what happens, you know. Sometimes you see, you know, the four teams they play really, really well with them. They come over here and they do get a wee bit nervous. They have good signs, you know. It, it takes top quality to go away and at home to, to produce a performance all the time. And you know, fair credit to the coach, he's played a full strength team because he knew he had to try and kill this tie, which one goal does. They've drawn both their away matches in Europe so far this term. They're behind here at Tyne Castle. Carlos. Oslan Barbaric. Second European start of the season. Involved in all five games. Clocking up plenty of experience. Lovren. On to Samia. Galvez has played him well. Easy for Gary Glenn, he's up against the centre defender who's won the Champions League. Yeah, but that's good experience for him, and he'll learn from tonight, you know, and he's, he's given a good account of himself so far, he's been busy, his touch could have been slightly better, but he's certainly not uh, displaced himself, and he's given Hart some much needed energy up front. Christian Nadi continues to struggle, Gary Glenn looks across, and his strike partner. bench unless they maybe bring Andrew Driver on and, and push a ball through the middle there's not really much else in the striking department for the Hearts. Well, it could be a boot not a goal scorer either as Papadopoulos comes through forward on to a boot a boot against Lovren the right full back looks every bit as good as we were led to believe very very impressive him tonight he looks really top draw he's been called into the Croatian squad yet to play through international level Hearts through a boot. Carlos wasn't sure he had to get a touch on it though. There'll be one additional minute to be played here at Tyne Castle. Sousa almost took the shots off of Carlos. Well, Carlos was playing with Hearts there. Nothing silly now from Hearts. I mean, you know, they've, they've got the goal, and um, we've received that one nothing half time is not a disaster. Again, a goal in the first 20 minutes in the second half, and suddenly with oh, 20 odd minutes to go, 2 0 up with a, a passage to go right. You never know, you never know, but as I've said, must not, must not concede a goal right now in Italy. Samir quite fancies the shots, and if they want to shoot like that, Arts will be more than happy. Without a win in the last six away in Europe, you know, was a grab. They were thumped down in London at White Hart Lane, 4 0 in the UEFA Cup group stages. Hearts don't quite have them on the back foot enough yet. But there's still a little glimmer of hope as night falls in Edinburgh. Calvez. To Abua and Michael Stewart. Inside to Michael Stewart, Morales, Verdolyak, uncomfortable, and the referee has decided enough is enough for the Hearts fans. I've seen undoubtedly the best 45 minutes of the season so far, inspired by the man with the captain's armband, his first goal for Hearts since February, his first goal in European competition. Butina throws it out, Vandell didn't want it, poor first touch, but look at the way Michael Stewart got in and about them, lovely cross finish. 
the goal with a left foot. The Hearts fans are happy. It could have been two. Knocked across by Gary Glenn. That just takes a deflection. Bishan closing down Michael Stewart as it rattled the bar. We wanted character from Hearts. They've shown it so far. Half time. Hearts one. Dinamo Zagreb nil. Interesting, perhaps more interesting than we thought. Uh, certainly a very different game from last week, Craig, isn't it? Thankfully so, <laughs> yes. Uh, that, that's much, much better. I mean, the, last week, everything that was wrong about last week, they've, they've remedied this week. They're pressing the ball higher up the pitch. OK, they're holding a higher line, as we'll see, but um, and they'll have to take a chance. I mean, as it stands, they're out of the tie. So they need to take a chance, and I think they have done. If Michael Stewart's chance had gone in, I mean, we've been sitting here thinking they've got a real chance in the second half. Still a lot to do, but but uh, I'm so much happier watching that than I was at this time last yeah. week. And, and as poor as Hearts were last week and as good as Zagreb were last week, suddenly they look at quite a nervous side. The quality's still there, but you suddenly begin to think, another goal, and it could yeah. get very interesting. They were showing signs. I'm not mm. saying they were totally rocking, but they were showing signs, and Craig's right, where they were pressing high up the pitch but they were pressing with numbers this week it wasn't just going in ones and then they just pass it round you because we know that they find nice little spaces it was going in numbers pressing yeah they were high up but you've got to take chances you're 4-0 down if you're going to uh, try and win this game you've got to go and press in numbers take a few chances get the first goal it have been lovely to get a second goal I'd love to see this uh, this team especially their goalkeeper mm. going 2-0 down now that would have been something to, to mm. see yeah well it could could yet happen 45 minutes ago we're not getting carried away but there are encouraging signs in fact Hearts could have scored with only about a minute and a half on the clock David Abua who'd really had a, a terrific chance here and what a start this would have been yeah I mean the, the thing that, uh, that makes it a really good chance is that it comes to his left foot and he's very strong on his left side he almost looked as if he was surprised that the ball got through to him I don't know if he thought it was maybe going to get cut out in the front post area but uh, just anything with decent contact on target gives him a chance of scoring. The pace is on it, isn't it? It just actually hits his right foot when you yeah, see but, it. But look at the Hearts players in the box. They're getting numbers up as they have to do. One thing I would like to see mm. more is more Hearts players in the box, especially this one. Brilliant from Suso. The goalkeeper, look. Ah, Billy Glenn Dodger would have been in there, wouldn't he? Well, I think I'm serious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's instinct. It's a natural instinct. striker yeah, sure. would have been on top of the keeper, you're, wouldn't he? You're looking for the goalkeeper to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. He does. Mm -hmm. The first man there's the centre half, as he should be doing as well. But I'd like to see more Hearts players having good, a little gamble. Good skill. Good yeah, skill from, from Suzo. Um, I think in general, Hearts have looked on the, the front foot an awful lot more than they've done in previous. Here again, on the front foot, attacking the ball as it drops in midfield. Um, again, this is a decent pass. But look at the, the Hearts bodies in the picture. Much better than last week. There's four, five in the box. And that was a good chance for Gary Glenn. He scores goals at, at every level. And uh, that was a great chance. I wish that touch hadn't popped up on him or so far away. He'd been mm. able to take it quicker because the defender was able to close him down. But again, encouraging. That's all you can say. It was good play. Got it away. Decent ball in the box. Just can't get enough cover. The goalkeeper's having one, let's be honest. And you yeah. would play on him. Well, they actually got a free kick. Hearts, when you think, just put it right on top of them, and they played it square, and they had the, the, the chance was gone. Yeah. But terrible, terrible touch as well, Bedell, terrible touch as well. But yeah, you're, you're away from home, you're, you're slowing the game down, you're four 0 up. You don't throw it to your midfielder who's 25 yards out for him to take a bad touch. And it, I mean, he should save it for me. You're yeah, right in the middle of the goals. He should say that. I don't know. I think he's been he's flapped a little bit, having you know thrown the ball away. He hasn't got his, his, his position right mm. to save it after that bit. But he came for a, a corner that he missed. There was a header at the back post. His first two clearances just about hit the Hearts players. Yeah. He's, he's fumbled one, he's thrown one out. I mean, and Billy's right, there was a free kick, put the ball on top of him. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it well, looks like he's flapping to me. Yeah, Great awareness from Michael Stewart, they've got to give credit there. Read the situation, nicked it and stuck it in the net. Yeah. Having said that, they are a quality side. We've seen how strong they are on the, the counter-attack. And because of the way Hearts have to play this game, they will leave spaces at the back. And it's just a case of hoping that Zagreb can't take one, Craig. Yeah, this was a square ball that was cut out and good skill, great reverse pass and I think this just clips the post uh, on, on the way past. But, but so what? OK, I mean, Hearts lost four goals last week. They're going to have to be prepared to lose goals to score some this week. And I think that you know, Chaba, Chaba generally tes, tends to be quite conservative with his teams. He has to really take a chance. I'm glad that he has, yeah. but they're going to have to have heart-in-the-mouth moments like so this one because they need to push players further up the pitch. This is another decent chance. I think if he'd squared that ball, then it would have given uh, Zagreb a, a better chance of scoring. One thing they'll have to do is, is, is be able to man-to-mark 
defend, a man to man mark defending and get full backs forward at some time in the game. Again, they've gone to have their chances, Craig said. It's a good chance, it's a decent save as well. But the goal is going to have to make saves. They're going to have to play a high line, they're going to have to mark man for man in the second half because maybe, what, half an hour to go, they've got to get full-backs involved, push more men forward, get your wide midfielders. If the full-backs push on, get them up to, uh, up up front and get them to try and create chances for you. Yeah. You both mentioned that the, the high line that, that the Hearts are taking, they'd have to defend up the pitch, which is pushing the midfield on and, and getting men into the box, obviously. And a couple of good examples of how you can get caught that way. Yeah, the, the, the danger with this is you get uh, the, you lose the ball in midfield and one pass can, can defeat the line. That last one that they saw, I think, was, was, was actually onside. Yeah. Um, you know, and again, here's another one here, that high line, and if this, is a, if this ball's maybe chipped or played just a little bit further away from the Hearts player, then they're through one-on-one. -on -one. But, again, for, for me, take the chance. Yeah. Because what they're doing is, by playing a high line, they're forcing their midfield players further up the pitch. They're forcing the strikers further up the pitch. Mm. And last week, Zagreb were excellent at the back, playing out because Hearts sat off them. Yeah. They're at Tyne Castle, they've got the crowd behind them. Press as high up the pitch as you can mm. and get the crowd even more on your side. And I think they'll have a chance to score more The good goals. thing about it, Dougie, that was earlier on in the half as well. And the, the, this, nothing did come of it. And they didn't look so shaky after that, Hearts. They kind of sorted it. Um, the, the chances created by Zagreb were more down the side and a cross coming in the box and a chance, but they, they, they sorted it out and it was early on in the half. Yeah, and uh, you've got the, the, the goalkeeper's blood in your nostrils, Billy, clearly. There's Tomislav Butina. Well, be tested. He, he wasn't tested at all last week. He looked perfectly competent, but tonight, every time he <laughs> comes for a ball, every time a shot comes in, you don't fancy him, do you? No. I, I think after they lost the goal, I, I think his confidence just faded away. and. I mean, he's, you can't really blame him there. The ball's in the box, a good knockdown, and if he keeps it down, he scores, and it would have been interesting. But do you not think he, he was in no man's land a little bit here? Mm. He comes out, he's about four yards off his line, and Gary, I think if Gary Glenn had headed the ball back towards goal, I mean, I'm not blaming him for heading yeah. it down there because it was good vision. But mm. I think if he tried to loop the ball over the goalkeeper, there might have been an opportunity to score there because yeah. the goalkeeper was in no man's land. He's certainly shaky. I mean, right away he comes, but he just can't deal with anything now. And, a little bit of awareness here, maybe could have been taken earlier. He's able to get back and mm. smother it, but mm. he's, he's certainly there to, to give Hearts another goal, I feel. And I would be testing him. That free kick, with Craig and I were both saying, right, here's a chance, put it in with pace, see if he'll come for it, see if he'll drop mm. it. And they just played it square. Couldn't believe it. Mm. Uh, you both said it. If we had just got a second goal before half time, it really would be interesting. And it can still happen, obviously. I mean, yeah. I'd, I'd be interested to see how Zagreb play it in the second half. Yeah, I mean, what the, what the second goal before half time we'd have done we'd have changed the team talk in the Zagreb dressing room and changed the feeling in the Hearts dressing room now a quick goal in the second half can do the same thing but it needs to be you know I can see how if they get if Hearts get a goal in the first 10 minutes of the second half and I know what it's like at Tyne Castle and, and looking at just how shaky Zagreb mm. are mm. they've got a chance yes yeah. the next goal is, is, is crucial we say that a lot but in this case it's absolutely right isn't it Zagreb get it game's over yeah. Hearts get it Game on for Very me. Very much I, so, yeah. I really do think that, and that's yeah. what Shabalaz has got to be saying to his players and making mm. them believe that. We mm. get a goal, it's time scales in the game where if you do get it early, mm. then they will. They, I can see them really starting to panic. If it gets maybe, what, half an hour through the second half, I think they'll be comfortable. But you must test them, they must give themselves a chance. And sometimes a little bit with the ball with hearts, don't retention, you know, don't just get it and hoof up the pattern, try and go direct because all it's doing is giving them the ball back. It's a hard shift to make sure you're tight and get forward and score a goal. They've got to maybe try and keep the ball ball retention a little bit more. It's only 1-0. We're not getting carried away, but the second half could yet be very interesting indeed. Let's just turn our attention to today's other big news. That was, of course, the, the Champions League draw. And, uh, well, I think Rangers could have done a lot worse than, than they have done. Sevilla... The number one seeds in the group, Stuttgart from Germany, and the Romanians, Unaria Urzacen, who are the Romanian champions. They're going to be a decent side. Of course they are. They're no bad seasons at this level, but I think Rangers could have got it a lot tougher, Craig. I hesitate to say great draw, but let's be <laughs> honest. Let's be honest, it is, isn't it? I mean, mm. some of the teams that they could have got, would you'd have been saying, well, out, no chance. Mm. But I'm looking at the teams that they've got. I mean, the remaining champions are... We won that a lot of people in Scotland will say, well, there's Rangers will pick up points there. Mm. Might be the might be the most difficult of the lot, to be honest, because they finished above Stow Bucharest. Mm. So but I hesitate because I you know I don't want to 
to get carried away, but that does look a decent draw. Yeah, it looks also like the kind of group, Billy, where they'll all take points off each other and it could go down to the last couple of matches. Well, remember that I think your Stuttgart's, and I'm not even going to try and say the remaining team, they're <laughs> going to be thinking the exact same thing. This is a mm. chance for us to progress, but as Champions League draws go, mm. you'd be delighted with that and I'm sure they'll be thinking... Maybe not first, but definitely potential second. And uh, as Craig said, with some of the teams that were there that they mm. could have had and put them probably right out right away, mm. I think I'd be grabbing that with both. I'd yeah. be delighted as a player still there yeah. if, if that was a draw. But having said that, it's a Spanish team, it's a German team, and the Romanians will. They may not travel all that well. That's sometimes a problem with yeah. with teams from Eastern Europe. But uh, they'll be strong. They'll be organised, and they must be a good side. Yeah, they will be. Mm. They will be very hard to beat at home. Mm.